What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another review. Welcome back to another L and another game against Manchester City, except this performance was even more pathetic than the last one. It's like we blew our load in <coughs> the first game at home because the performance we had today was fucking pathetic. It was terrible. There was barely any positives. I think I can get one positive out of the way and that was it and that was Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall looked good. He looked energetic. He was asking questions of players and he was actually successfully taking players on. Other than that, it was an absolute shambolic shit show from the first minute to the last. Um, Manchester City, like I know they're up there, it's their B team and I didn't expect anything coming into this game but all I wanted at the very least was for Chelsea to play with some pride, to play with some fucking dignity and to at least try and we didn't do that. We conceded possession easily from minute one, we barely tried to attack Man City with the same intensity that they showed us. It genuinely looked like for some instances we were trying to throw the game. It, it was that laughable and the most annoying thing is like it wasn't the rotated players that were playing poorly it was the players that constantly start that is the thing that pisses me off more than anything else you got Kai Havertz who you guys know I've been on this season he was absolutely dog shit today his touch was horrific his positioning was all over the place he was going into 50-50s half fast and then that stupidness for the penalty who the hell sticks both of their hands out when you're jumping for a header on a corner it's basic common sense like that that's the difference between us and half the team in the Premier League Mason Mount, I don't care if he came back from injury or not. The same issues that I've seen with Mason Mount before the injury are still apparent now. He is overplaying. He isn't acknowledging runners around him. There were times where Havertz was making runs and he was just overplaying through the midfield. And it's like, if you just keep your head up and you just see the options around you, we could play much quicker ball because in that moment as well, we were making a really good sequence of passes and it's things like that that constantly ruin it. It was one of the only positives that I saw at some point in the first half, even though there's barely anything to talk about. We got absolutely battered. Riyad Mahrez got his standard goal against Chelsea. He's treating us like Drogba treated Arsenal back in the day or like Aguero treated us a few years ago, if you lot remember all of that. Um, easy free kick for the first goal. I don't even remember who scored the second, but I know it was a very easy passing sequence from them into the box. That, no, the second goal was the stupid penalty. That was the third goal. And then at 3-0 down, kind of looks like the game's already done. I say kind of looks like the game was finished at 1-0. Uh, we just go into the second half and to be honest, we were just very lacklustre. I think we just went into damage control at that point and at least defensively we looked a bit better, but we were still offering nothing in the middle. And by the way, I haven't even spoken on the middle too much. I know everyone's going to say I'm ignoring Jorginho. Jorginho was terrible. Jorginho was absolutely terrible. Someone who's meant to be controlling the tempo of the game, his passing was horrific. Easy turnovers, easy corners being given just off stupid passes. And again, this is the difference between us and half the rest of the league. But then again, I have been saying it for a while. This squad is not capable of making top four barely look like a top 10 side right now we are going into that fulham game on on thursday night as the underdogs for the first time do you know how bad that sounds fulham are going to be relishing that game and fair play to them they're higher than us in the table we are literally 10th 10 points off 18th 10 points off fourth we've got four we've got 10 injuries Pulisic's out for weeks by the way i just heard graham potter say that i'm not too sure about sterling but sterling doesn't look good it's all just depressing. Like, we are the most hopeless squad in the Premier League. There is zero optimism. There is zero hope. There is zero belief. And even when you get a slight amount of belief, this team just kicks it out of you. It's all just depressing. It's all just fucking shit. And then, like, a fair play to the away crowd because they were the only positives in this game. Um, we kept our voice as well from the first minute to the 90th kept singing Gianluca Vialli's name and by the way rest in peace to him and condolences to his friends and family I do wish we gave him a better send-off than that game though because he, he deserved better than that but at the very least we gave him a good send-off we were chanting his name and he ain't, he's never going to be forgotten by, forgotten by Chelsea fans that's for one that's the one positive we have from that um, in terms of the two cool chants and everything though because I know you all saw it we all saw the we've got super Tommy two cool chants and everything and I don't, I don't really get it. Like, yeah, we're playing like shit under Potter, but we were playing like shit under Tuchel too. What difference does it make? 
genuinely ask you, what difference does it make right now from the way that we're playing under to compared to Thomas Tuchel against Zagreb, against Salzburg, no, not Salzburg, against Southampton, against Leeds, against Arsenal last season, against Everton last season. Like, we need to be realistic with ourselves. Tuchel is part of the reason why we're in this position. For the fixtures, for the way that we've been playing, for the poor transfer window as well, the poor communication with Todd Bowley. The guy literally said he was fine with the midfield that we had and we didn't go in for anyone until deadline day. That's on Thomas Tuchel. So why are we doing this? Our oh, Potter's the problem. We need to bring Tuchel back. Let's just be real about it. Tuchel's gone. Tuchel is gone and he is not coming back. We've sacked Jose Mourinho twice, both under unfair circumstances. We sacked fucking Carlo Ancelotti in the tunnel. Carlo Ancelotti. And we want to act like we've never done this before. Yeah, granted, like the football hasn't improved. But I've been saying for ages, the manager is not going to change a thing until the squad is changed because the squad is the problem. Look at the midfield that we brought in. Look at the attack. Look at the way the attack's been for years. It's the most timid attack I've ever seen in my life. And we only ever seem to get worse. Only ever seem to get worse. I think... For us, I, I just don't know where we go forward from here. But here's the thing. Like, if you sit here and you genuinely think that this team can make top four, top seven, if they can achieve any of your whatever f achievements you want us to achieve this season, you're being deluded. We had City home. We had City away in both ties. It's BS that we got both of them. But what are we going to do about it? We're not going to beat Man City now, are we? No one had any expectations or hopes going into this game. The only problem is, like, any little bit of hope, this team just kicks it straight out of you. Zip, barely any positives from today. Lewis Hall, I'll say Trevor Chalabar. I didn't think Chalabar was too bad. That's it. Jorginho was poor. Gallagher was poor. Ziyech was poor. Um, Havertz was poor. Mount was poor. The substitutions, to be honest, were a bit poor. I don't know what bringing on Asby at 3-0 down is going to do. Amari Hutchinson was all right. Chucky Mecca was all right. Fafana was all right. But the game was already done and we don't make anything anyway. So it's just pathetic. We had our first shot on target in, I think, the 60th minute or something like that. Like, it's pathetic. We're actually so bad. We're so bad. It's unbelievable. It's to the point where we're not even getting bantered anymore because it's just not funny. We just get pammed left, right and fucking center and it ain't ever going to change. It's not going to change until we bring in at least five new signings or until the season's done. Write it all off. Whatever achievements you have are in the bin. And yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Four hours away from London. I can't be fucking off. The things I do for this football club, innit? Um, stream will be out tomorrow, 2 30, 3 30, something around that time. And yeah, we'll chop up this shit show again. Like, subscribe, up the Chelsea.